Hey, hey, it's Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we have another 650 sale that they had during the fall. They had one kind of like back to back. Um, this sale is over now. It was a while back, but again, I'm backed up on my videos, so I'm finally getting to it now and I wanna show you guys what I got. I got quite a bit of stuff to match my sprays and some backups. I pretty much explained a lot of this already, so I'm not gonna go into depth, hopefully too much, because again, all the reviews on my channel, if you missed them, you can go on my channel and watch them. But yeah, I just wanna show you what I got in my haul very quickly, hopefully, so let's get right into it. So the first scent is wrapped in sunshine. This smells so good, it genuinely surprised me. And I have the spray and the lotion to match. This is a backup though, because again, I already hauled this and reviewed this on my channel. A lot of these, pretty much all of these I did already. The notes are golden citrus, white peach, and blonde woods. Not necessarily notes I go for. I do not like peach scents. They turn very pea-ish on me, like cat pee, so I don't normally like peach scents. But um, this does not smell like no cat pee, honey. It may be yellow, but it don't smell like pea. This smells like the citrusy, freshest, sweet peach scent that I've smelled and a little bit of that Blonde Woods, but it's mainly like a citrusy, bright, peachy, sweet scent to me. This screams spring and summer. It is not a fall scent to me, yet they brought it out in the fall, but I do love it though, and it's a new one, and it just smells so good. So if you guys like peach and citrusy scents with a little bit of woods in there, I think you would like this one, and it genuinely shocked me, and I don't even like peach. So that says a lot. The next mist I have been absolutely loving, and this is again a backup. Pretty much all of these are. This is Sweet Whiskey. This is a unisex scent. It smells like vanilla sweet, boozy bourbon whiskey. That's what it smells like with a little bit of berries, fruitiness to it. Again, a man or a woman can pull this off. I didn't like it when it first came out. They did bring it back and I fell in love with it all over again. This kind of smells like a sexy grandpa. I always say that, that's what it reminds me of. Like an older sexy man basically. But um, this smells good. And I have the spray and the body cream. And also, if you see, they messed up my packaging. They did send me a new one, cause I don't like that. Like, let me know if you guys hate when your packaging messed up and if you do get a replacement, because I don't like this, okay? The packaging should be like this, not like this, so yeah. The notes are golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries, so again, it's a very sweet vanilla whiskey, warm, ambery scent mixed with that fruity berries that really rounds it out. It smells so good. Some people don't get sweetness from this, but I do. I think this is a very sweet fragrance. Not sweet as in like an edible foodie way, but sweet as in like, I guess sweet because of the vanilla in there and the amber. It's a very deep sweet scent, very a little bit mature. Again, unisex, a man or woman can pull this off. Sweet whiskey's that girl for me. It was a sweet whiskey for me. I have been in love with this scent. When I kept spraying it on my arm, and I test all of these, you guys, on my skin, I kept going back to sweet whiskey on the dry down. It just smells so good. So yeah, if you guys like a sweet, boozy, berry scent, I think you will like this. Some people don't like it, and they think it's too masculine. I think it's unisex, and I think anyone can wear this, and it smells amazing. But that's just my opinion, and my review and haul of this. But yeah, sweet whiskey, so good. I'm so happy they brought it back. And the next three I got to pair with a mist. This is a backup as well. And y'all know I do not pair my stuff unless I love the scent and baby, I love this scent. And I'm so happy I finally got strawberry pound cake in the shower gel. It's always sold out all the time. It's been out for like a while now and I never had gotten the shower gel. So now I cannot wait to use this during the fall. But anyways, this is strawberry pound cake. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And it smells exactly like that. It smells like they put a strawberry pound cake literally in a bottle. This is super sweet, super yummy, super edible. I did get a compliment on strawberry pound cake when I was cuddling with my ex boo, baby dad. He complimented me on this when we were cuddling and he was all up on me y'all, all up on me. So yeah, strawberry pound cake, if you have a man's or a girl, this is the perfect cuddle scent. I really wanna do that video. Let me know if you guys wanna see cuddle scents that you know are best for cuddling, cause I would love to do that. I plan on doing that anyways, but just let me know. But yeah, this is a perfect cuddle scent, especially in the 
fall and winter and this lasts hours on me i don't know what they put in the strawberry pound cake but the last version in the bake shop line and this new version of fall lasts forever on me it lasts five to six plus hours it's beast mode it's strong it's gourmand it's sweet it is so good and again i'm happy i have the shower gel and i have the lotion and this is what it smells like strawberry pound cake actually no this is what it smells like i don't know why they have a chocolate cake right here this is what it smells like strawberry pound cake so yeah if you guys love a strawberry pound cake sweet cakey gourmand scent and you want compliments this is the way to go because this is a compliment getter so so good okay i'm done raving about this so let's move on to the next ones okay so here is my next set of things this is like round two so here are the two new scents that came out in the fall autumn violets and raspberry chiffon so we'll go with autumn violets first i do have the shower gel and i do have the body cream and again Y'all know if I pair my scents, I love the fragrance and I do love this one. The notes are Violet Petals, Wild Fig, and Velvet Vines. So all three of those notes are very off-putting to me, even reading them now, but I'm telling you guys, okay, so this is kind of complicated. This scent has a lot of layers to it. It really does smell like a floral, fig, velvety, vine, green scent. That smells very planty and grass-like. I did not like it in the first spray nor when it was first drying down on the first opening. But I'm telling you guys, when you let this dry down, it just shows out. It smells like a very fresh violet floral, but it smells like laundry, it smells clean, it smells pretty, and it lasted hours on my skin, it probably lasts about four or five hours. It smells so good on the dry down. Again, not in the opening, not in the first spray, not even as it's drying down to me, it doesn't smell good but on the dry down, it smells amazing. <laughs> I don't know how or why that is, but if you didn't like this scent, please give it a chance to dry down on your skin if it does actually work for your body chemistry. Cause at first I thought it didn't work with mine, but I just had to let it dry down, but it smells amazing, you guys. So that is Autumn Violets and I love it. I already do have the spray. Here I have my, one of my top favorite fall scents right now this is raspberry chiffon and i got two little mini fine fragrance mist and the body cream and the minis in case you haven't seen them they did revamp the packaging they revamped these to now it looks exactly like the big body mist only in mini version versus like the other plastic form they had a lot of people like this look better i think it's okay i don't mind either or but they are very cute. The notes are black raspberry, iced pear, and whipped sugar. This smells like a very sweet icing raspberry scent, similar to Champagne Sprinkles from SAS, but this smells, I think, a little better to me. It's very sweet on the black raspberry and the whipped sugar. It just smells so sweet, like a sweet raspberry sugar icing smell with a little bit of pear to make it a little fresh. It's just a sweet, fruity, warm scent, and I love it. It doesn't last long, probably lasts like two or three hours on my skin, but I love it so much. It smells amazing and uh, it just smells so good, you guys. And I've been trying to stock up on this scent. So yeah, I'll take the minis, the full sizes. I'll take whatever because it smells good. The next scent we have here is a body cream and berry waffle cone. I have the spray. I'm trying to get the lotion and I'm also trying to get the shower gel in this to complete the set. I love this scent as well. It smells like you literally have berries in a waffle cone ice cream. It just smells good, like a ice cream bake shop. And it just smells really good. If you have the candle, you'll know exactly what this smells like. But this may be a little better in body care to me. The notes are sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. And it smells just like that. It smells like the ice cream shop at Cold Stone to me. When you walk in, you get a waffle cone. So if you guys don't mind smelling like an ice cream waffle cone with some berries and vanilla, this is the scent for you. People get BO from this. I do not see how. It smells so good to me. I don't get BO from this, but other people said they do. So that's very strange, but this smells amazing. Here we have a candle that turned into body care. This is pumpkin pecan waffles. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. This is a very maple syrup, waffle, pumpkin buttery sugar smell. It really smells like maple syrup waffles with a lot of butter. So if you don't mind that, then this is the scent for you, but it smells really good. It's super gourmand, super strong, and it smells amazing like you could eat it. Don't eat it, but it smells like you could. So yummy. 
And then here is Chris Morning Air to match my sprays I have. This is the lotion and this was also another form that turned into body care. The notes are crisp fall breeze, golden amberwood and juicy apple. I mainly get like a fresh fall breezy apple scent with a little bit of amber wood. So like a fruity apple fresh woody scent. But I do mainly smell a fresh apple scent in this. So if you guys like apples, then this is apple galore for you. It is for me, so I know it could be for you. This smells so good. And I don't like Chris Morning Air in every other form. It smells like men's kind of musky deodorant. I just don't like it. But in this smells like apples. So I love it in body care. Don't like it in other forms, but it smells amazing. And the last third round of stuff I got is the new like floral aromatherapies. And these two that I posted about on my Instagram. Go follow me if you haven't already on Instagram. I do post about these. As soon as I see that something new comes out or my community tab on YouTube. But here is Soothing Marigold, Rose and Magnolia, Calming Chamomile, Lavender and Chamomile, Balancing Elderflower, Mandarin and Cedarwood, Patchouli, Sandalwood, Vanilla and Bergamot, Neroli and Cedarwood, Restful Moon and Awakening Sun. So these are the new aromatherapies. I like to get them in shower gels to see if I like it first because I will use up a shower gel before I use up a spray or a lotion or body cream that I do not like. And I was very hesitant because you guys know I don't like floral. So this was a very huge step for me to buy this. Although I do review stuff on my channel. So I did this for you guys as well as myself. But yeah, I do want to do a review on these. But these smell exactly like what the name says. They're very floral, kind of calming, aromatherapy vibes. And you guys know I don't like florals, but these do smell good. And so do these two. Restful Moon and Awakening Sun are super like deep type of scents. I just try to smell it, it's leaking. So this does smell straight floral, like roses mainly and magnolia, kind of like a little bit of a fresh rosy floral. It's okay, it's not my favorite already. Okay, this is very calming. This does smell like lavender and chamomile. I smell a little bit more of the soothing, calm, light chamomile over the lavender, but it smells really good. This balancing elderflower, the main note is mandarin, and then that woody cedarwood. Cedarwood's so fresh in fragrances. It's like a fresh woody smell. So it's a citrusy, sweet, yet floral elderflower, fresh woody smell, but you mainly smell the mandarin in here. It smells so good. And the cedar wood as well, but mandarin first. Restful Moon is super deep. It's like a patchouli, very deep, sexy, sensual patchouli, powdery sandalwood with a sweet vanilla. It's a woody patchouli sweet scent. Wow, that's very interesting. It's very deep, strong on the patchouli. So if you don't like patchouli, I do not think this is for you, but it smells good to me. So, and I do like patchouli and fragrances, especially if they're mixed well. And then lastly, Awakening Sun. This is interesting. It's kind of like a fresh scent, a little fruity, woody, fresh floral. Very interesting. This is definitely very brighter than this one for the night. This is definitely for the day and this is for the night. So they're very true to what they're trying to portray. It smells good. I don't know which one I like better. I kind of like the scent of this one, but I feel like I would go more for this one. But they both smell good. All of these actually smell really good to me, you guys. Y'all know I don't really like rose scents, but this does actually smell pretty nice. But yeah, so that's just it. But yeah, I'll do an in-depth review probably a little bit later. Just to talk about them again, the different aromatherapy scents. But yeah, but that's it for my haul. Let me know if you guys participated. I know it's over now. So if you don't remember what you got, just let me know your favorite fall scent. And let's get right into my quote. I just want you guys to know that you can go for anything you want to in life. And if anyone can do it, so can you. I also believe prayer will help. If you have faith in higher power, which I believe in God, I believe prayer is so powerful. The Lord can move mountains and perform miracles. He can make anything happen in your life. You just have to have faith in him and really believe and pray, of course. He always hears your prayers, so never stop praying. And that's your pretty much direct line to God. So pray over anything good, bad, sad, what you're worried about, everything, he'll handle it. And I do truly believe that. And I also want you guys to know on a more positive note that if no one told you, you are important, your life has meaning, and you, yes you, have value, never forget your worth. Self-love and self-worth will take you so far in life with people, situations, anything you're going through. You'll get the best out of life when you do put yourself first not selfishly, but you gotta also make yourself a priority. So yeah, just always take care of your mind, body, and soul. A good mind leads to a happy life, or at least helps in a sense. But yeah, that's it for this haul. 
Let me know what you guys got and what's your favorite that you saw that I shown. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And on that note, I will see you guys in my next video. See you later, guys. Be blessed.